Hey folks, my name is Rick Wright. I'm the developer of the Putting Tee Bar. Putting Tee Bar is used by some of the top putting coaches in the world. It's used by some of the top golf programs in the world. And uh, it's proven itself to be very effective for not only the beginner, but the elite player. And we're gonna show you how to use it today. All right, the first benefit I want to talk about with the T bar is that it sets, it guides us to set up nice and square to our start line. Why is it important to set up square? Well, the putter, the hands, the arms are all connected to the shoulders. And if my shoulders are not square, if they're open, the tendency is, is that my arms will want, it'll want to draw the putter left. So my hands then have to separate from the shoulders and then push the ball down the line. So I don't want to create that conflict. I like everything to flow together. So T-bar, first of all, it gets us nice and square to our start line. The next benefit um, in our setup is the T-bar gives us a guide to get our putter face square to our shoulder plane. So it wants to be nice and perpendicular to the shoulder plane. Um, and I'm going to show you how, how we accomplish that right now. Right, so the first thing we want to do is when we attach the T-bar to our shaft of our putter, we, we have the ability to move it up or down because what I want it to do is I want it to bar, the crossbar to hit me right on the front of my shoulder. So I can, guide, I can control that by how I set it on the shaft. The next thing I want to do is I want to get it nice and square. I want this, the crossbar, to be nice and perpendicular to the face. And you can do that visually by looking at the, uh, the clamp and see that it's nice and, and square to the putter face. So to get myself nice and square to my start line, well, I, what I like to do is I like to lay an alignment rod down. And then what I do is, is I have this, I came across this last week, uh, I was introduced to this thing, it's called the Star Putter. Um, it gives me a nice little perpendicular line to my alignment rod. So when I set my putter down and get it nice and square to the star, the crossbar of the T-bar is all square, all parallel to my start line. So now my body is nice and square to my start line and my putter's aimed right down my target line. Okay, the next benefit I want to talk about is how the T-bar will teach you a nice rhythmic motion. What I mean by rhythm is the shoulders, the arms, the hands, the putter all moves together as one. Like I was saying, the putting stroke is just a simple motion. With all my al alignment stuff I have set down, I'm nice and square, aimed right at my target. All I need to do is draw my putter back and return it to impact right where I started. So. The mo most efficient way I can do that is for everything to move together back and through. If something, moves, if something moves differently at a time, I get out of time. Now I have timing issues that I have to compensate for. One nice visual that I like to give my students and that I like to think about when I'm practicing is the visual of the Y. The Y is formed from the shoulder down to the hand, shoulder down to the hands, and then the leg of the Y is down to the putter. I like to keep that wide together back and through. T-bar helps me do that. So as I take it back, everything moves together, back and through. I hold my Y, I've got a nice stroke, one piece, everything in rhythm. I'll do it one more time, watch the Y. Back, through. Now when I attach the T-bar to my student's putter, there are two common things that typically happen. The first one is, I'll ask them to putt and a lot of people will struggle because the tendency for most folks is that the hands move a lot quicker than the shoulders. So they want to move their hands quick, but the T-bar won't let them. The T-bar won't let them. The shoulders must go with the hands. So that's keeping it together in rhythm. The other, the other problem that most people have is finishing the rotation. And like I was mentioning before, when the shoulders aren't square, they don't tend to, to finish the rotation because the hands have to move away. So Finishing the stroke by rotating the shoulders, the right shoulder through, is another common problem that most folks don't have. They've never felt that full rotation through, and that's what keeps that putter on line. Recap, I want to set the T-bar on my shaft so it's high enough to where the crossbar touches my shoulders. I want to see that I get it nice and square. I've got me a nice alignment rod down. I've got me a line that's perpendicular so I can set up to it. I can see in my peripheral vision that I'm parallel to my line. I've got my nice Y, and then I'm going to let my hands and my shoulders do the rest. Back, through, boy that one felt solid. 
I want to see that I don't have too much upper rotation by, by, by seeing where my where the crossbar goes I get all that together it creates an incredible but very simple and efficient putting stroke okay the important thing to know about a good training aid and this and the t-bar is a good training aid that it's a guide it's not a crutch okay so what the t-bar does is it gives me a good setup and it really transfers the feel and the motion of the motion of a really good motion. So then, when I take it off, that's when we well, that's when the critical learning really happens, because it's still I can feel that T bar on me, even though it's not on on me right now. I can feel that T bar. And I can feel the rhythmic motion that it helps create. One last thing to point out about the T bar is that you can do this at home on the carpet. You don't have to. You know, this is kind of a funky little contraption that you attach to your putter. And some people might be a little bashful about taking that on the putting green. Well, the reality is, is that we're practicing, we're training a motion. I don't need a, actually, I prefer to practice not to a hole. I like the practice to be non-target based. So we can sit on our carpet, lay us down some guidelines, set up square, and roll the ball. Roll it with the T-bar, roll it without the T-bar, and really train that motion. T-bar is a great asset for teachers because what it does is it conveys the feel that you're trying to express into words. For the beginner, it introduces them into a whole new motion, a simpler motion of everything moving together. And for the elite player, it could be as simple as helping them maintain a good rhythm in their stroke. All the timing of the shoulders, the arms, and the hands maintaining that. To learn more about the T-bar, go to www.theputting.t-bar.com